Hi guys, give me five minutes and I'll show you how to stop munching those crisps in front of your favourite TV show and get rid of those cravings and make them disappear. My name is Anna Ferguson and I run the Food Freedom Method and I've helped hundreds of ladies beat emotional and binge eating so that they can find their food freedom and actually love the body that they're in. So if you are a mindless eater, if that packet of biscuits is gone before you've even realised it and you'd like some free training on this, I just want you to post stop in the comments below and I'll send you over some free training in Messenger. No need to opt in. I'm sure the training will really, really help you. So let's get into it. How do we stop munching away in front of the TV on an evening? How do we stop that? Well, we are creatures of habit, aren't we? Completely creatures of habit. And usually we sit in the same spot at the same time, eating the same stuff. And, you know, we create that. We program ourselves to do that. So even if you go to a restaurant, you'll go once, you'll have a nice time. But after a few times, the waiter will start to say, your usual table. And this is because they know that if you if it feels familiar, you will eat more. Yeah. And I'll give you another example of that, how you can train yourself into a habit. So as a child, uh, my mother used to take us swimming on a Wednesday. We all had swimming lessons on a Wednesday and we used to go swimming. And then after the swimming lessons, we'd all go for fish and chips and then walk home and eat them there. So we always had fish and chips on a Wednesday after swimming. Now, when I go swimming, I always get a hankering for fish and chips afterwards because I did it for years. Yes. So we can really train ourselves. So you have your special spot on the sofa, uh, you know, that you uh, sit in. You try sitting in one of your other family members spot around the dining table. They'll soon tell you that's my spot. That's my chair. What are you sitting there for? So I want you to really think about this. There's three things that you can do. One, you've got to change your emotion. So whether you uh, put on a funny film, whether you play some music that changes your emotion, but you've got to change your emotion, especially if you're stressed. We've got to change your action. Is it your mouth or your hands that need to be busy? Have a think about that. Now, if it's your hands, um, often we're busy, busy, busy during the day. So when we come to a stop, the body goes, shouldn't we be taking some kind of action still? So people do the, the adult colouring books or they paint the nails. And so they're keeping their hands busy. If it's your mouth, uh, this is where people get chewing gum. But also they get on the phone, they get talking to a friend and suddenly the cravings disappeared. They're not even thinking about it. And then the final thing is to change your perspective or environment. As I said, you always sit in the same spot, don't you? So you've got to make it look different. Move to a different part of the sofa. Move to a different room. You will find that the craving will actually disappear. And I've got a story about this. One lady that I was working with really took this advice to the absolute extreme measure and she rearranged her furniture and sat there waiting and then text me and said, it can't be that easy. <laughs> but she completely changed what her environment looked like to her brain. And then also think about it. When you go on holiday, you change your emotion, your actions and your environment all in one go. And nobody emotionally eats on holiday. They just have a really nice time. Yeah. Now, there is an easier way of doing this, and that's the way I work with clients. We just remove the program alt altogether, the automated program. So if that automated munching program is removed, if the virus is removed from your brain computer, if we restore you to factory settings, then the behavior simply disappears. And quite frankly, that is the easier way to do it. So if you'd like to find out more about this and you're really struggling with that mindless eating where you have one biscuit and you look down and the packet's gone and you don't even remember eating them, 
then I want you to just put stop in the comments below and I will send you over that training in Messenger. So I hope you're really well. Try that this week and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.